Hey everyone, action here! In this video we'll be fighting our arch enemy the Setana at 50 times the difficulty, however we actually went a little ballistic with our fleets and got more than 120 million fleet power using only our regular ships, so Setana, well, she was in for a treat. My command calls out for 5000 commanders to replenish our ranks after the recent losses. Our navy needs you, commander, to help us fight the countless enemies that threatens our own existence. Enlist today and be a part of something greater. Alright, it is the Satana, my friends. Our arch enemy, oh my god, we have never defeated the Setana before and we are facing her with our strongest empire in the channel, we have never been that strong and yeah, it's gonna be quite a battle. In the meantime we are building up more ring worlds and I think we'll also build up another interstellar assembly site because whenever we build them we reduce our empire size by minus 10%. Yeah, I was just looking around for Setana and we found her. There she is. Well, since against the Satana, the main problem is not her fleet attacking us, but instead we having the military power to take her out, I don't think we actually need the Daedalus Seal for now. We can actually just activate the Isolated Contingency Core to boost our mega structure build speed by 300%. And also the continue because well, we're gonna get 700,000 energy credits. We already have 295, so why don't we sell everything that we have? This way, we will at least gain a little bit. Fantastic. Now we just activate the continue. Bam, everything maximized. And now the contingency core. All right, a signal in the storm. Mm hmm. What is this? Identify yourself. All right. Log updated. Now she has declared war with all the fallen empires. We currently are destroying this awakened empire. However, we do not have the patience to go through all of it. So I'll leave it to Setana. No, Jane resigned to travel the universe. That's fair enough. She did a pretty good job serving our empire. Farewell, my friend. Very well. One fallen empire already down, only two more to go. I mean, we have so much mega structure build speed that we can finish an entire section of our mega structures within one year. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Let's improve another Dyson Sphere for us, our second. And another fallen empire dead. This time it was the Wiccan Empire, which we were at war with. I think there are only the Panurian Zealots alive. And they are even imperious. Yeah, they just don't learn, do they? Interstellar assembly now finished, and as you can see, our empire size greatly reduced by about 200. Let's build another strategic coordination site so we can improve our command and defensive platforms limits. Already? The Panurian Zealots died so fast, holy. I'm getting scared about the Setana. However, we are almost reaching 100 million fleet power. Perhaps that's enough to take out Setana's Titan though. Now we have the Setana weak link situation and what we need to do is stop her from advancing through her goals because if she somehow fulfills everything that she wants she wins the game basically on a timer although she won't be destroying everyone through her military power we need to complete the situation so let's first start off by researching the mysterious tempest and then we will always look out for the convoys so we can take care of them and stop her plans here we can also shift away our approach to replace some monthly unit gain for research speed which is much better in my opinion especially now in the late game oh setana wants the head of zarklan mm, the head is ours will not allow you to have it leading light as setana makes herself known around the galaxy the cosmos whispers in reply signal beacons light up the skies like flames burning in the dark repeating a plea across the eons we are here we are here! The dim signals use Satana's same communication protocols, hinting at a common origin, yet our sensors revealed no other activity in their proximity, there must be something that our scanners are not detecting. Could someone truly have anticipated her return? That's what we are gonna see. 
So we'll have a bunch of projects that we can do and each one of these projects will have a chance at rolling some effects that will greatly boost our chances at defeating the Setana. I don't really know which one of them give us a modifier to plus 125% damage against the Setana. And well my friends, if we get that modifier, I really think we can just destroy her in one shot. One thing that I definitely must do before I forget is just to remove all the penetrating weapons since Setana, well she has 100% armor hardening so there isn't much point on leaving the focused archimeters instead of the Tachyon Lance. Of course this is gonna take a while and also cost us tons and tons of alloys but it is worth the price. I mean Setana established an outpost really close to us, one here and another one there. She even claimed the system for her Herself. Let's just grab one of our countless fleets and destroy this outpost and send another one to the other outpost. Oh, as anticipated our attempt to breach the Vastalus system ended in failure, though her storm possessed the ability to repel any ship that enters her dominion. Oh yeah, we need to do this tech before. My bad. There it is. Special Just waited a little bit. Alright, completely annihilated one of her outposts. That's not actually an apology. And with this, we receded her situation by 20. Fantastic. I just remember, I think if we complete this situation, we will have the 125% modifier against her. So now what we're gonna do is research all of these signals across the galaxy. There are a lot of them, as you can see here. And we only have six scientists. So it's gonna take a while. Let's begin. So before the Setana awakens, I think we should start retrofitting all of our vessels. Thankfully it is quite cheap, only about 1000 alloys per fleet. But it's gonna take a while from my end, but for you guys it is just gonna be one or two seconds. Alright, eventually we got over it. It's just gonna take a while for everyone to reach their designed star bases. Oh, the databank from the Setana. Now we need to do the special project. I mean, my mega shipyard is upgrading 1.2 thousand ships. Yeah, everyone decided to go here for some reason and not our other shipyards. We currently have six shipyards, but they decided to concentrate themselves. Oh my god, Saturn with a minus 75% research speed. Uh, you regret this, I guess. Oh yeah, we have no option. Oh man, minus 75% research speed. And all of our special projects are turning out to be empty calls, man. That's actually insane. Yeah, another empty call. Is there only one place? where we could acquire useful information about the Setana. Here in the system we have five special projects for some reason, which is kinda suspicious. Alright, just as expected, that place was the one that had the actual insights on the Setana plans. I mean, now that we have so much energy production, currently at 66,000, I think it would be a good time for us to start reinforcing our fleets even further. So we produce another 7 fleets, which would cost us around 276,000 alloys, putting us at 16.5 thousand naval cap. We have finished all of these special projects, however we do not have the necessary points to finish the situation. So what I think we can do is raid her outposts and perhaps this time we can finish this event. So let's grab all of our brand new retrofitted battleships, not this one, but this one instead. Let's send them across the galaxy to fight Satana's outposts. I mean, these suckers right here, they, they have their borders close to us. What we can do is just change the focus to Setana, and with that, they should open their borders, right? Fantastic, now we can access another one of the Setana's outposts. That was here. Oh, we have a last beacon on the Wistrow system. The same system in which we defeated the contingency over and over again. And how could I have missed a survivor there? I don't really know. We are so close, we just need another point and then we'll finish the situation. But I think I cleared out all of her outposts, almost all of them. There is another one to be cleared here. 
pretty easy win as always our feet are much stronger than hers oh boy the satan is almost finishing her works i didn't even think about that oh my god well i think it is time to mobilize our massive armada this way we're gonna be prepared when she awakens we are currently sitting at above 120 million fleet power we have managed to increase it by 20 million since the beginning of the video hopefully that will be enough However, we have a major problem when we leave our star bases, which is Special our credits. Completed. Minus 10,000 per month. Oh good, we got the ghost ships. With that, we gain the modifier plus 125% damage against her. That's fantastic. Uh, I spawned the dimensional fleet on our capital world and it has 6.9 million fleet power. Alright, just a very small dimensional fleet. So yeah, the dimensional fleet is a little bit strong, however I don't know if you can support it on our navy, because I guess it will completely crash our economy. Just let me check that out. Yeah, we went from plus 7000 to plus 2000, so we lost 5k a month. And the time has finally come. Alright, we are now at war against Setana. The stakes are monumental. Should we fail, she will annihilate all conscious life in the galaxy. Oh well, let's get our friends here. All oh, those guys are gonna get obliterated by the guard unit. That's bad. Uh, perhaps we should go through here, I suppose. And you, my friends, you should fall back. Please, retreat. I mean, why aren't we at war with Setana? Alright, and we're losing 15,000 energy per month. So please hurry up. And we also got the Nameless Apostate from the dig site, which gives us a plus 15% damage against her. So we can actually get that person in our council as our Minister of Defense. And that should help us. Oh, there is another Destiny trait. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I guess I have to disband the Dimensional Fleet. Let's see how much of our energy we can recover from that. So 8,000 per month, basically halved the current losses. Everyone has arrived, let's manually declare war on the Setana then, if she does not want to declare war on us. Engaging enemy fleet. And the last battle for the galaxy has begun. Oh boy. Alright, we have successfully defeated one of her star bases. And oh boy, that's troubling. One of her reinforcements came right behind us. And as you can see, our juggernaut is right there. But it really is a power point at this point. But we completely annihilated her. What is this? Hello, Commander. If you're enjoying my content, please consider being a part of our higher ranks and financially supporting the growth of our navy. Depending on your contribution, you'll have access to different sections of our military, being able to command an entire fleet and up to a whole sector in our live streams. That will happen almost every weekend. With every contribution, the Empire grows stronger and you, Commander, will help us shape the future of our universe. The game passes one day every 10 seconds, basically. But a solid victory nonetheless. Now let's get that momentum up and running and go to her other systems because her reinforcement ships are coming in and after they arrive, we are gonna get destroyed. One problem is that she's using one of her garrisons to attack us from inside. However, she does not know that we are coming for her with that much strength. So yeah, perhaps we can defeat her before this garrison deals enough damage to us. I don't know why, but all of our ships are getting some damage dealt around 1% every day or month, Technology something like that. Discovered. Everyone is losing HP on our side, which is pretty bad. But another outpost cleared. Oh, she's sending in 40 million fleet power. Oh, why? Once our kinetic battery is fired, I think we're gonna just one shot it. Yeah, just like that. Some of her ships are already destroyed. And still, some of our battleships are moving in in close range for some reason. I guess those guys were really excited to fight the 50 times Setana, and that's why they're doing that. All of our carriers are sitting in the back, and these are the artillery combat computers. So the carriers won't actually behave quite well, but the artillery ones do not. Good, another fleet destroyed. Let's move into her system for the final confrontation. Alright, things are looking good. Her ships are even retreating. 
which is nice. Things are really laggy. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit right here so the game runs a little bit smoother one of our commanders died in battle that Kawariki. oh no i remember that guy was such a cool dude and we are making some progress finally we break through her initial lines and that is such a beautiful view right looks like a juggernaut formation I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy a little bit about this battle because it's the final battle against the Satana. Such a memorable moment. And we're almost killing the Satana, man. Really? Look at her. She's at 25% HP, basically. Come on, boys. You can do it. You can see that our naval cap is greatly reducing, but Satana's HP as well. Oh, man. Our battleships are finally focusing her Titan from what it seems like. Oh, boy. Another fleet died. Perhaps it was the Juggernaut. But I'm hopeful. 15%. 14 Come on. Only 5%. 3 Two, no, four, three, two, one percent. Come on, come on, everyone. Oh, mothership died. Oh, the obliteration of Satana flagship signifies more than a mere military triumph. All right. Despite this moment of profound relief, the vanquished queen was still able to transmit a message to the galaxy. My children, I am so sorry. I have failed. I'll let her talk. Defiance has doomed you and all those who come after, to the endless grinding of the wheel. I can only hope that in time you will understand. Perhaps one day you will take up my cause, and see the end of pain. Go in peace, my favored ones. Oh, that's it, everyone who killed her. Fantastic, man. Ah, it's such an accomplishment. I have never defeated the Satana before. This was our first victory against her. Oh boy, this crisis is tough. We must study what remains of her technology, obviously. Out of the 120 million fleet power that we had, we dropped to 42 million. And our energy credits at least got fixed, plus 25,000 per month. Oh boy, yeah. Let's see what are the remains of her technology that people kept talking about. These ones. I mean, if we could have her strike craft, I think that would be great for us to defeat the next crisis. The Tana defeated, we gained a little bit of happiness and almost 1 million unity. And man, the game looks so smooth now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so incredible how a couple thousand battleships do to your computer. It will take a while for us to rebuild everything that we have lost. However, we should start our preparations for the next crisis. And that includes leveling up our star bases to once they were before. Because until we rebuild our navy, we will definitely rely on our star bases defenses to take out the next crisis, which should be at 100 times or 150 times if you count the Grand Admiral difficulty, which basically buffs all crises by 50%. However, all of the min maxing that I will be doing and setting it up for the next video, I will actually be recording and releasing it for members so you guys can have a chilling video without having to worry about it. So yeah, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, don't forget to leave that like button. And as always, my friends, I will see you guys next time.